So here we are, um, and I'm really remiss that I didn't start this video uh, diary here, the chicken coop, when I started building it. Um, we have our chickens out here. There's one other video when we were doing the wiring, uh, but basically we built this chicken coop. Uh, I built it from scratch, a little help from my boys. Um, and we built a really big chicken coop. I mean, most coops are not this big. Um, a coop, a third of this size is about $2,000 at the store. I believe right now we're all in at about $350 in, in materials. Um, so I've, I, and, and a lot of that is this dry cedar. Um, I think it's really beautiful. Uh, as you can see, there's still some places I need to trim out. I ran out of wood, so I had to go buy a few boards last night. Um, but I think the dry cedar not only protects for a long time, it, it doesn't rot away. Uh, the rest of the wood inside is pressure treated. Um, but the dry cedar really, really holds up. So we built this coop. Um, I had built one before um, when I lived in Idaho. And it was smaller than this. We had four nesting boxes. Maybe five. I can't remember. But this one we built with ten nesting boxes. And you can see, although our chickens aren't laying yet and we don't have all the straw in and, and pine, they do get up to those top nesting boxes and hang out. So we have a couple of lights up there um, and the roofs uh, all put in. I, when I built the first one, I forgot to put the roofs in and I had to do it after the fact. So I can tell you, uh, don't do that. It's uh, really hard to put the roofs in after you've constructed a, a coop because you can't really get in it um, to access it. So it is six feet tall on this side. Um, seven feet tall on that side, a 15 degree slope. Um, waited three weeks for this metal roofing to come in. We really wanted red since the rest of the ranch has red roofs except for the older barns. Um, so it would match. And uh, we've wired it. I'm gonna get some pavers to put around the outside to keep predators from digging underneath. I mean, the wire extends just a little bit, but um, I find it best to put some concrete blocks uh, because uh, fox, um, coyotes, they won't dig away from the, the coop. They'll dig right next to it. So they're not going to back up three feet and dig a tunnel underneath. They're going to try to dig right at the edge. So we're going to pick up some pavers, um, just inexpensive pavers, put them along the outside. Uh, that'll provide a little protective barrier. But our chickens, as you can see, are very happy. And we have a lot of different breeds. I just let my wife and kids... Uh, and stepkids go crazy and buy whichever chickens they want. Um, these little guys with these puffy heads, I, I call them mohawks. I guess it's not really a mohawk. Um, are pretty cool. My stepson, Clove, picked them out. And uh, he just was in love with them. So we have four of them. Um, we lost one early on, a couple days in. Uh, one died. Um but that's the only chicken we lost and we bought three to replace it just in good measure so we went from 20 to 19 to 22. but as you can see we got our new feeder and waterer um, in the bigger size we had that little one and there was another one in the coop um, and a, f a couple feeder trays but now they have their full feeders and as they get a little bigger we're gonna let them free range um, out here in the orchard um, it needs to be mowed down. Um, a lot of these trees need some help, but there's some wonderful fruit trees out here. Peach, pear, cherry, apple, uh, Asian pear, um, plum, uh, golden plum. We have grapevines all over. The blackberry bushes have kind of taken over this grapevine. You can see a, a uh, peach tree um, sticking up there. But uh, Brighton cleaned out all that section at one point. It took quite a bit of time. And uh, just getting through these blackberry thickets is crazy. But we got a really uh, great ranch here that hadn't really been used in 20 years. Um, so we have to deal with things like this. Um, it's not always easy. It gets a little daunting um, digging through blackberry thickets. And I'll show you. Um, I got poison ivy. And this is exciting stuff. Um, I got poison ivy on both my wrists on the inside, so it runs up my arm a little bit. Sorry for the video. Um, and then I got it on this wrist, um, which really has been horrible. Um, I can't tell you how horrible, because 
it itches so bad sometimes. Last night I was at the store and I just went in this itching frenzy, rubbing my sleeves together, trying to itch without scratching, you know, or scratch without using my fingernails. Um, but it's getting better. So that's it. We'll update you soon.